Welcome to our Oilfield Water Services Field Case Study Series. My name is Ross McCartney and in this series I'll be showing you field examples of how produced water analyses can be used to benefit scale, water, well and reservoir management. In this presentation you'll learn about how produced water analyses were used to identify which well was the source of a produced water sample and also how they were used to identify what type of water was being produced. This example is from a field where there were two producing subsea wells, wells A and D. Now, there had been water production from well A previously, but the operators suspected that water production had also started from well D due to a small change in temperature at its wellhead. Their concern was that production of water from well D would cause a change in scale risk. So they shut in well A and tried to obtain a water sample from well D. This was particularly challenging because the well had a very long tie back to the platform. After collecting the water sample, there were two questions that required answers. Firstly, can it be confirmed that the samples were not remnant well A produced water? That is, are they representative of well D? And if so, what is the nature of the water being produced from this well? In this case, there were some additional water compositions available that could be used to help answer the questions. Firstly, there were produced water analyses from well A, which were interpreted as mixtures of formation water and injection water. Secondly, there were formation water analyses from two appraisal wells, wells B and C. After the quality of these different sets of data were evaluated and confirmed, principal component analysis was applied to them. This is a multivariate regression method, which is useful for identifying waters with different compositions. The figure on the right shows the PCA regression results expressed as factor scores for principal components 1 and 2. These results show a clear trend for well A produced water analyses, showing that the produced water compositions vary with the fraction of formation water and injection water in the sample. There is also a separate clear trend for formation water analyses from the field, showing that the composition of the formation water varies across the reservoir. The position of the well D samples on this figure suggests that A, they are not well A produced water, and B, they are likely to be just formation water from well D. Although the two questions originally posed were answered, as is quite common in field examples, more useful information was also obtained from the available data. For example, the results confirmed that formation water compositions varied across the reservoir. This information was useful for scale management planning for the field. Also, the produced water compositions showed that injection water breakthrough had not occurred yet in well D. Again, this was useful for scale management, but as this was also consistent with predictions from the reservoir model, it also improved confidence in this model. And finally, the results confirmed that the protocol used to obtain representative well D samples was successful and so could be used in future to obtain further samples from this well to check, for example, for injection water breakthrough. Although this study obtained the results required, it's worth mentioning that there are well testing methods that can be combined with produced water sampling that would allow the produced water composition for well D to be calculated without shutting in well A, and these methods would have reduced the deferred oil costs in this case. I hope this brief presentation has given you a greater insight into the value of produced water analyses. If you require further information, please visit our website at www.oilfieldwaterservices.co.uk where you will find our extensive publication list which cover many field cases. You can also contact me via my email on ross at oilfieldwaterservices.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from us on the uses of produced water and formation water analyses in the oil industry. Thank you for your attention and I hope that we can be of service to you soon.